How about we continue making this X OS 4 terminals regular, the normal font in our awesome system. So everywhere. So control C. I'm gonna take this already with me. Let's start with NeoFetch. NeoFetch, when we open it, it's a nice beautiful font, you can read it. It is a monospace 13. Hmm. All right. Let's get rid of that then. We go to .config, to the termites, settings. This is our backup, so we already have a uh, the same file there, just to, to be safe. It should open somewhere here now. Where are you? He did not compare, so I wanted to compare him. All right, anyway, it's the same, just trust me. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. Um, when you reload melt, Control shift escape and you type in melt. Well it it can't it, it tends to keep open. It can it tends to um, uh, add add more and more melts to it, but it won't open anymore. So you have to shut everything down, kill everything, and that's it. That's only one thing. It can't really stand for you to reload uh, several instances when you do this control shift R all the time in awesome. That's the reason. So, okay, these guys are the same. Go to config and there is this model space 13 in here. Would it work if I just copy paste this over? I don't know. Anyway, saving it, control T it. Oh yes, oh yes, that's nice, that's nice. But, hmm. I have to fix my icon then. The icon is now too big. So we have to tell the system here something about my icon, about my geometry. Okay, fine. And here we can't do it anywhere. This is the termite config, don't forget it. It's not NeoFetch. Okay, so that's the reason why we can't find anything here. Yes. So we need actually to go to NeoFetch config configuration this time. So this one, that one. And let's super F this thing. So full screen and then control find Arco Linux. So here is the image. Anything else will not help us. We need to figure out somewhere we are here in the long, long, long list. In here somewhere we will find the way to set this image, how big it is, where it starts, image size to 50, and here I set the offset. So, super F again. If we do a terminal, the offset is 100. So from the top, the Y, 100 and x is 20. So if you not with me, just put everything to zero. Save it, then kill the terminal, open the terminal. So that's, oh, that's fine, zero, zero, that's okay. So I don't need to set any offset or x or i or y, it's, it's just okay the way it is. So there you have it, we have now our NeoFetch in a specific font, in this terminus font. Okay, we are getting geekier by the minute. Uh, anything else? Let me think. Okay, I was about to take a picture and say, okay, let's call it a day. But what if we can make NCMPCP with this font? Is that possible? Okay, let's get rid of it. this here. So NCMPCP is this kind of look. Where is this file again? Okay, getting rid of it, opening and finding out where is ncmpcpp, there's a config file, what does that do, control find, is there a font in there, oh, no, no font in there, let's make this a little bit bigger, like so. So, do we define the font in here, or is it defined elsewhere, that's what we need to figure out now. Is there a way to define the font?
Okay, I better start making uh, the rest of the tutorial because I've changed already some things here. What did I do? I went into the file GTK RC20 and I copy pasted as well here GTK font. Uh, so that gives us this kind of look here. So a little bit nerdy. Uh, all these elements in Tunar are now changed. And um, it's due because of this line number 7 here. Okay. All right. Okay, I forgot to tell that I logged off and logged on again. And that's uh, when it happened. So nice. Of course, our awesome menu has uh, changed as well. So they're using as well these terminus fonts now. And we're going to investigate what we can uh, change more. And we'll show you. Okay, changing um, this element here has also changed sublime text here, as you can see. The text is also changed in here due to this line here. I'm gonna check um, super, let's see, F1. So, old, this is all still normal, so this is Vivaldi. And um, Atom is probably as well the same, let's have a look. Yeah. All the same. Okay, so they changed with us. Inkscape has changed. And what about GIMP? GIMP has changed as well. Nice. And Melt is one I use as well. And this one is not changed. So depending on what uh, they depend on, GTK2, GTK3, it'll change so I'm gonna change something else as well let's have a look there are two things you should remember about theming there's this file gk3 rc2 and there is one hidden away in config gtk3 this one not the bookmarks settings in so here it still says not all sans so if we copy this over Control C, yeah, to this one. I suppose all the applications that are still using GTK3, save, reload, should change as well. Okay, let's all go over them. This is Firefox. Firefox is still, okay, voila. Firefox is still um, old file etc everything is changing that's okay didn't test that yet I think chromium what's happening here oh yeah he's following me as well so in this manner you can figure out how to change elements and some will probably never change uh, atom is probably one of those although although I wonder the font seems to be smaller than normal so it follows probably GTK3 rules. Um, what else have I not tested? VLC, Super F6. Yep, they're following the fonts, all right. And that's how we change elements to our system. So I would say have fun figuring out parts and the bits and choosing a font that looks nice on your system and your screen size. And generally have fun and awesome.